last of the Mohicans. In 1757, British Army Major Duncan Hayward arrives in Albany, New York, during the French and Indian War. He is assigned to Colonel Edmund Monroe, the commander of Fort William Henry in the Adirondack Mountains. Hayward is tasked with escorting Monroe's two daughters, Cora and Alice, to their father. Before they leave, Hayward asks Cora to marry him, but she asks for more time before giving her answer. A Mohawk named Magua is tasked with guiding Hayward, the two women, and a troop of British soldiers to the fort. But he is actually a Huron who leads them into an ambush that kills most of the soldiers. Mohican Chingachgook, his son Uncas, and his white, adopted son, Hawkeye, arrive and kill all of the Hurons except Magua, who escapes. The trio agrees to take the women and Hayward to the fort. During the trek, they find another massacre at a farm, but do not stop to bury the victims so as not to alert the Hurons to their presence. Cora and Hawkeye are attracted to each other, as are Uncas and Alice. They find the fort under siege by the French and their Huron allies, but manage to sneak in. Colonel Monroe is surprised to see his daughters, as he had sent a letter warning them to stay away, but it never reached them. Hayward becomes jealous of Hawkeye when Cora tells Hayward she will not accept his marriage proposal. A militiaman sets out at night to try to reach General Webb at Fort Edward for reinforcements, with Hawkeye, Chingachgook, and Uncas providing covering fire from the fort. After Monroe refuses to honor an agreement made by Webb that the militiamen could leave to protect their homesteads if they were threatened, Hawkeye helps them sneak away. He is arrested for sedition and sentenced to hang. However, when he learns that Webb will send no soldiers, Monroe is forced to accept French General Louis Joseph de Montcalm's terms of surrender. The British can leave the fort honorably with their arms. Magua is furious because he bears a personal grudge against Monroe. Once Monroe, his soldiers and civilians leave the fort, Huron warriors attack and massacre them. Monroe is captured alive, but mortally wounded, and Magua personally promises him that he'll kill his daughters, then cuts out his heart. Hawkeye, Uncas, and Chingachgook fight their way out, taking Cora, Alice, Hayward, and a few British soldiers. They hide in a cave behind a waterfall, but Magua finds them. Before Hawkeye, Uncas, and Chingachgook escape by leaping from the waterfall, Hawkeye tells Cora to stay alive and swears that he will find her. Magua takes his three prisoners to a Huron settlement. While he is addressing a sachem, Hawkeye walks in unarmed as a parley to plead for their lives. The sachem rules that Hayward is to be returned to the British. Alice be given to Magua for the wrongs done to him by Monroe, and Cora be burned alive. Although Hawkeye is told he may leave in peace for his bravery, he offers to take Cora's place. Hayward, who is acting as interpreter, instead tells the Hurons to take his life for Cora's. After Hawkeye leaves the village with Cora he shoots Hayward, who is being burned alive, as a final act of mercy. Chingachgook, Uncas, and Hawkeye then pursue Magua's party to rescue Alice. Uncas races ahead and kills several of the Hurons in combat, but is killed in a duel by Magua and thrown off the cliff's edge. Devastated to see Uncas' demise, Alice refuses to remain with Magua and commits suicide by jumping off the same cliff. Enraged, Hawkeye and Chingachgook catch up to the Hurons and slay many of them. Hawkeye then holds the rest at gunpoint allowing Chingachgook to fight and kill Magua, avenging Uncas' death. Afterward, Chingachgook prays to the Great Spirit to receive Uncas, proclaiming himself, the last of the Mohicans. <laughs>